Hey, what is up guys? My name is Fanny Stroll and this uh, is a pretty sweet background actually. I just found it on Google and it's basically saying swimming is like the toughest, I guess. That's what it said to me, but it can say different things to you. But yeah, I'm just going to go into a quick tutorial on this effect. Here it is. This little, um, Aim. one second. The, the particles on the gun you, got, you guys just saw. And there it is, the particles on the gun. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that really quickly. And just hop into it. So what you're gonna need is a clip, and I just split it and twixted it. And now what you're gonna do is make it do solid. I'm just gonna call this mask matte. And then I'm gonna drag on. Actually, first I'm just gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it down to uh, where the effect starts. So there we go. I would usually just click Alt. Um, begin bracket but Contasia when I click alt begin bracket it does some weird marker thing so yeah so I'm just gonna mask out the gun now so go in full resolution if you're not already on and I'm just gonna mask out the gun okay so just want to mask out the gun I'm just gonna do it really quickly right now because uh, it's only a tutorial and you guys know how to take your time on a mask I'm pretty sure there we go. So I just want to say a massive thank you for 600 subs while I'm doing this right now. Whoopsie, I don't know how that happened. Massive thank you for 600 subs. Um, it means a lot and like this time last year, I'm actually gonna make a special video about this, about like uh, my one year anniversary for editing. But this time last year, I had 100 subs and like all I had was one montage and it was a really terrible montage. And uh, if you guys don't know what it is, just go on my channel and look at my 100 sub montage. It is absolutely terrible, and I'm actually ashamed I made it. But I don't know. It's kind of kind of cool that I came this far. So what you're gonna do is feather it, obviously, and mask path. You want to keyframe it. I hit Control Shift Right Arrow Key, so go over 10 frames. And since the Twixter is on 1%, it's really easy. All you gotta do is just change a few things. Oopsie. And there we go. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Okay. Just change it around a bit. Just make it like match up. I'm not gonna do it perfectly right now, but you guys can do that yourself. You know how to do it. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave it for now. And you just wanna go over 10 frames every single time and you want the effect to usually last a second. So it's there, but it's not like you're staring at it for a whole like five seconds or whatever. So then what you wanna do, so you have your mask mat. Okay, so what you wanna do uh, make a new solid. So control, no control Y. And call this particles. Type in CC star, and there it is, CC starburst. Okay, now you see these ugly circles, and I don't know why it's called starburst for having circles. You just want to make the scatter up a lot, unless you want that many circles. It's totally up to you. Like, unless you want like that, which is kind of dumb though. I'm just gonna drag up the scatter like that. That sounds good. And speed, I usually put three. Um. I don't, I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, that, no, that one's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to keep that for later. Grid spacing, that's what makes them, like, more zoomed in. So you want this to start at, like, 8. That's what I used. And, yeah, so I'm actually going to keyframe the grid spacing, the phrase, and the size. I'm going to alt-click on the size and make it wiggle. Open bracket, I'm going to make it 10. So the size just you know kind of like varies and they get bigger and smaller and it's kind of cool. Okay, whoa, I don't know what I just did. Now I'm just going to close up this. Okay, and I'm just going to trim it up. Which you can do by hitting Alt Big Bing and Begin Bracket, but I can't do that for some reason. Okay, I'm just going to drag this out a bit. Then what you want to do is type in glow. You can type in as many, you can put in as many color changing things you want onto this CC Starburst layer. Uh, I think, yeah, Star Glow is good as well. For some reason, sometimes it doesn't work, so I'll just let it be a bitch right now. And I'm going to type in Fill. That's a good one. Fill works a lot. Yeah, so let's make it blue. A nice blue color. And yeah, so how I made it to be different colors is obviously I had a lot less particles. And what you can do is duplicate the layer. So I'm gonna, if I duplicate it, and as you can tell, it just gets brighter. Change the brightness darker, 
and make the scatter different. There we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy paste this mask, put it onto this layer, as well as this layer. And I don't know why it did that. One second, Control Z, Control Z. First of all, you wanna pre-compose uh, the layers. That's what I did. And yeah, just call it pre-comp, whatever. Then you wanna paste the mask. Okay, there we go. So as you can tell, just these 10, uh, for these 10 frames, Obviously you want the effect to last longer. For these 10 frames, the particles are on it. And to make them see through, what you gotta do is go T, uh, T for opacity, make it 75 is what I used. Then hit F4, turn it the blend mode to add. And there we go. Now it's practically the same effect. Obviously I had it a bit different, but that is how I did it. Hope you guys enjoy this. And if you guys go back into um, this layer, and go to the keyframes that I, the thing that I keyframed. Just go over like uh, 30 keyframes, so one, two, three, and turn the grid spacing up to 12. Or no, actually no, 16. That's what I used. So it gets bigger. The phrase make it one rotation, and do the same thing for the other layer. Other layer, sorry. Uh, there we go. And yeah, so if we go back into the triple, triple comp. As you can tell, the particles are moving. And yeah, so that's how I did it, guys. Also, what you can do, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna find this quickly. Uh, what I did in this edit is I also had the invisible gun, and you don't need to change anything to the actual uh, effect to have the invisible gun, to have the particles and the visible gun. Just need to find it. Okay, one. Was it there? Yeah. So I didn't change anything. It, I have um, the invisible gun there, and I also have the particles on top of them. So you don't need to change anything for the particles to be on the gun. It's the same thing, and yeah. So that's how I get. That's how I did the effect. You don't need to change anything if you want to apply them at the same time. I find they look the nicest when you have both effects at the same time. So like the invisible gun and the particles, and I'll have the invisible gun link in the description. And uh, yeah, so if you put if you blend these effects together, it'll, it's a really sick. And obviously, I have like turbulent displace on here, and like a, a, a bulge, and I have some digi effects damage and all of that. But uh, yeah, so that's how I did it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, last few things before I go. Thank you guys for 600 subs. I like totally blew away 600, just 647. So like totally owned it. And also, I joined Hawk, and they're um, a nice little clan of 6k. Well, not so little, but. Yeah, they're really awesome. I'm going to be making an edit for them in the future. And Yaddle Up has this really sweet Beats Pro giveaway and legitimate Beats Pro. Like, he actually has the beats. So if you guys want to go enter that contest, you guys have a chance of winning. And look at this, guys. One more sub for Yaddle Up of 700. So if one of you guys could be 700 sub, then comment saying I'm the 700. That would be awesome. And then also, Yuri, he gave me a shout out. And that's how I gained a lot of my subs. I got like 30 from him or something, so that's really awesome. So go to Yuri, guys, and subscribe. He's a really awesome guy, and he uploads some really cool games. He uploads uh, Warhawk, which is this PS3 exclusive game, and it's pretty awesome. You have plays and stuff. It's kind of like Halo, but PS3 version, and not as popular, but it's really cool. And last thing, this guy called Frazy Games made me a background for my school project. I know that's not that too big, but it was really helpful, and I'll actually show you guys what it looks like if, if I can find it. School project, one second. I did a, a project on the Grand Depression, which is the Great Depression. In, um, it was in 1929 to 1939. Yeah, I had to do that for my history CPT. But there it is. It's a pretty cool background. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And check out those people. There will be links in the description. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Bye.